Hi there, welcome. In this video, we're going to find the inverse function of f of x. We're going to start with the steps to find the inverse function, and then we're going to solve these two problems. The first one is a little bit simpler than the second one because of the exponent on x squared, but the steps are going to be the same. If you're interested in a particular problem, check the timestamp on the video. Let's get started. To find the inverse function of f of x, our first step is to set f of x equal to y. Step two is going to, we're going to swap x and y. The third step is we're going to isolate and solve for y. Let's work on the first problem f of x is equal to 3x plus 5 divided by x plus 1. And we want to find the inverse function of f of x. We're going to start with step 1, which is we're going to set f of x is equal to y. So we have y is equal to 3x plus 5 divided by x plus 1. Next, we're going to swap out x and y. That is, everywhere there is an x, you're going to change that to y. And everywhere there's a y, you're going to change that to x. So this will be x is equal to 3y plus 5 divided by y plus 1. Now we're going to move on to step 3, which is to solve for y. Do this by multiplying the entire function by y plus 1. And we get x times y plus 1 is equal to 3y plus 5. This becomes xy plus x is equal to 3y plus 5. And we want y on one side, so we're going to subtract 3y on both sides. And we get xy minus 3y plus x is equal to, these will cancel, 5. Now you're going to subtract and move the x to the other side by subtracting x on both sides. And we get xy minus 3y, these will cancel, is equal to 5 minus x. You're going to factor out the y, x minus 3 is equal to 5 minus x. And to get y alone, we're going to divide by x minus 3 on both sides. This will cancel. We get y is equal to 5 minus x divided by x minus 3. And this is equal to the inverse of f of x. Our inverse function of f of x is equal to 5 minus x divided by x minus 3. Our second problem, f of x is equal to x squared plus 3. We're going to rewrite this as y is equal to x squared plus 3. That's our first step. Our second step is swapping the x and the y. y becomes x, x becomes y squared plus 3. Now we're going to solve for y. Let's we'll start by moving the 3 to the other side by subtracting 3. These will cancel, we get x minus 3 is equal to y squared. Take the square root on both sides. This will cancel, and we will need a plus or minus. y is equal to plus or minus the square root of x minus 3. And this is going to be our inverse function of x. And that's it. Here's a quick recap of the steps to find the inverse function. We want to first rewrite f of x equal to y, and then we'll swap out the x and y. Everywhere you see an x is going to become a y, and everywhere you see a y is going to become an x. And then we're going to solve for y by isolating y on one side of the equation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to add a like or subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.